Well, when you're looking at something like 1B on the 8-7 worksheet and you're trying to factor the denominator, uh, the key here is this, this lead coefficient, that stick that, that kind of bothers everybody. And when we were learning about factoring, the first thing that I suggested to you was, if you can, take that 6 and factor it out. But you can only do that if 6 goes into 6, 7, and 3 nicely. Does it? No. You would have to factor a 6 away from 7, and that's not going to leave you with a nice, nice, uh, nice thing to factor. All right? So instead, what you want to do with this, we're just doing the bottom. We already established last video that the numerator is x plus 4, x minus 4. With the denominator now, you want to think of some ways to make 6x squared by multiplying. What are some ways you can do that? 2x times 3x. Times All right, that makes 6x squared. And uh, x times 6x, okay? So those are really your only two options to make 6x squared. So don't be too frightened when you have that lead coefficient. It just means that not only are you trying to make x squared, you're trying to think of some ways to make 6. 1 and 6, 2 and 3, all right? Meanwhile, back at the end, Back at the, the end of the equation, you have this 3, right? It's actually negative 3. So we're trying to th think of some ways to multiply to make negative 3, and the options are very limited. So I actually suggest we start there. Because what are the only two ways to multiply and make negative 3? Negative 1 times 3 or negative 3 times 1. Those are your two options. Let's start with the first one and just see if it works out. So if we have a blank minus 1 and a blank plus 3, is this going to work out in conjunction with either 2x and 3x or 1x and 6x? So at this point, it's really about just trial and error and just trying to put some options in and seeing if they work or not. But it doesn't have to be total guesswork. You can have educated, you can have an educated guess here. You're thinking about, all right, what do I need to put here that's going to multiply by 3, and here that's going to multiply by negative 1 to produce this minus 7x in the middle? Well, what if I put the 3x here? and the 2x here. And the reason that I thought of that is I thought, what times 3? What are you going to get when you do 3 times 3x? 9x. And if you had a 2x there, what are you going to get? And 9x minus 2x is 7x. So we're close, but we're not there. So I don't just say, oh, darn, now I'm going to go to bed. I just don't know how to no, I think the only thing wrong with that is the sign, right? So we have the 7x we want, but we don't have the right sign. So all we need to do is switch the signs around, make this one minus and this one plus. That way, when we have the combinations, what do you have on the outside? Negative 9x. Inside, positive 2x. Negative 9x plus 2x is negative 7x, and it's been factored. 